we all know parkinsonism is a neurodegenerative disease in which there is degeneration of dopaminergic neurons in the basal ganglia of brain so this lead to main symptoms of parkinsonism which are tremors rigidity and bradykinesia but as discussed earlier in the basal ganglia of brain not only dopaminergic neurons but also cholinergic neurons are present and they are in balanced amount means if we have 100 dopamine we will have 100 acetylcholine also they are in the balanced amount in parkinsonism there is loss of dopaminergic neurons so instead of 100 they remain 50 this lead to imbalance and this imbalance is responsible for symptoms so we can say dopaminergic deficiency or relative cholinergic excess is causing symptoms so if we want to treat parkinsonism we have two options the first option is we can increase dopamine to restore the balance so we can give dopaminergic drugs they will increase the dopamine level so balance will be restored the second thing we can do is we can decrease cholinergic drug system we can lower the cholinergic activity so that will again restore the balance so two type of drugs either dopaminergic or anticholinergic drugs can be used in parkinsonism so we'll discuss these one by one starting from dopaminergic drugs drugs increasing the dopaminergic activity for this first we will need to know how dopamine is produced and how it works we know first of all tyrosine enters from outside this is converted to dopa then dopa is converted to dopamine and then it is stored in the vesicle whenever the nerve impulse comes dopamine is released in the synapse then it stimulate the receptors dopaminergic action comes now we want to stop the action and the action of dopamine is stopped by two enzymes one is monoamine oxidase and second is catechol orthomethyl transferase so mau and comt are the two enzymes which break dopamine so dopamine is produced and stored when it is released it produces the action and after that it is metabolized and the action terminates so in parkinsonism we want to increase the activity of dopamine that means we want to increase dopamine at this place and how to increase dopamine at this place the obvious thing we can do is we can give dopa so if we give levodopa more dopamine will be produced we already discussed we cannot give dopamine because it do not cross blood brain barrier so if we give levodopa it will form dopamine in the brain and we can treat parkinsonism the second thing we can do is we can give a drug which release dopamine so the dopamine which is stored in the vesicle will be released it will start working third thing we can do is we can inhibit the metabolism of dopamine if dopamine is not broken more dopamine and more action will come and last thing we can do is we can stimulate the receptors if a drug stimulate the receptors there is no need of giving dopamine now.